Hey Numerologist community and welcome back to another video in this series where I talk to Kelly Fox about the full and new moons coming your way. Hey Kelly, how are you? Hi Rose, good thank you. Excellent, thank you for joining us once again. So in this video we're going to be talking about the new moon in Libra. Now we've just come off the back of a fiery full moon in Aries at the beginning of this month. So tell us, is this new moon going to be any less intense than that one? It's going to be more intense, Rose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, normally with the energy of Libra, it's, it's harmonious and sweet. It's gentle and sweet. But it's being pummeled by other, planet, other planetary energies. So there's a lot, a lot going on in this mix. And I'd like to just break that down, you know, piece by piece. Absolutely. So... So a new moon is when the sun and moon come together from our perspective here on earth. And so what that means is it's, we can't see the moon when we look up in the sky. It's just a dark night sky. The moon is hidden. So that, that's a metaphor for us here on earth where something is hidden, something is not quite revealed yet. So it's, it's like uh, there's a momentum that's going to be building because of the involvement of these other planets. So a new moon means sun and moon come together. It means endings must come, must come about. Endings must happen before the new beginnings can start. And so when it's in Libra, the new moon in Libra, this is our annual new moon. And so if you're a Libra, uh, you know, zodiac sign Libra, this is your annual new year, your new year, annual new year. That was sort of like a new year, new year. <laughs> so uh, this is like new beginnings, um, celebrating the new year. And really for all of us, it's about um, new beginnings with relationships. So if you're single and you happen to be uh, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is a great time to start a new relationship. And um, really, it's about even if you're in a relationship, it's about finding the new new in your relationship type of thing. So that's generally what a new moon in Libra means is new beginnings in relationships or new relationships. Uh, and that, that's not just romantic. That's also um, business uh, relationships as well, or really any sort of dealings one on one with other people, colleagues, family members or whatever. So the thing though with this new moon is that there are other, um, not just planets, but we've got the North Node forming, uh, making a trine with this new moon. So the new moon, sun and moon together are forming a very nice trine aspect to the North Node. And so the North Node is all about destiny. So this is, this is really like, this is exciting news because it's, it's, you know, we can set our path and our course for what we want right now within our relationships. So with this new moon in Libra, it's very much about focus on relationships, but with the, the very nice trine aspect uh, to the North Node, we can set our future. We can create our future uh, right now, we can really come up with what we want for our future within our relationship. It's easier to do at this time, not just because the new moon is forming a trine to the North Node, but all of those things are in air signs, which is, which is very intellectual, cerebral type of energy. So it's a lot clearer to think through what we want instead of being muddled up with emotions and not sort of thinking clearly and uh, this is a time when we really do have clarity. There's a but, there's a but that's coming here. Uh, but <laughs> there are some issues here with this new moon. So the first one being is that, you know, Warrior Mars is still retrograde and it's opposite this new moon. So what that means is the sun and moon are together and 180 degrees or directly opposite is retrograde Mars in Aries. So this is not very good. It's not a very good planetary connection because, you know, worry and Mars being retrograde is angry and frustrated and impatient. And then it's throwing, uh, it's throwing some really hard energy at this very sweet new moon in Libra, which really wants balance and harmony and peace and um, everybody to get along. 
Uh, but Mars is the opposite. If we think about, you know, this retrograde Mars in Aries, it's very much about, um, you know, the, the warrior leading the charge or leading the battle and wanting to fight. And, I've, you know, I've got my fists clenched under the desk as I'm even saying this, but it's like, um, you know, it's, it's the Spartan. It's the Spartan ready to do battle. And to add to this mix, we've got uh, Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto, uh, the th those three planets in Capricorn, um, forming this very, very extreme and very, very challenging, intense energy to the new moon and to the retrograde Mars. And it's what astrologers call a T-square. So what we've got going on are these very hard hitting planets. And, you know, particularly uh, the theme of 2020 has been the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, which is basically a breakdown and a tear away of everything we know to be true. So that's the energy. Uh, and with Jupiter thrown into the mix, which gives excess or amplification. So it's very much about, we've got this T-square uh, that's being formed by the new moon to these very um, upset and hard hitting planets. So in other words, we've got this beautifully sweet energy of the Libra new moon, um, but it's really being challenged by, you know, this warrior energy. And then, you know, the three planets in Capricorn represent rules, structure, authority, discipline, obligation, um, you know, authority meaning parents, teachers, leaders, whatever that might mean, uh, bureaucracy, jumping through hoops, red tape. So that really it's sort of like, you know, the energy, if I visualize it, it's very much about I'm smiling, but I'm not really smiling. <laughs> you Got know, it. yeah. So that's sort of, that's sort of it in a nutshell. So the one question I have about this then is what can we do to kind of mitigate those more challenging energies so we can harness the sweeter, lighter side of this Libra new moon? See how I'm looking at you nodding my head smiling? <laughs> Smile and nod. Smile and nod. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't even speak then. I was just like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, that's going to be easier said than done, though. I think if you're if you're listening to this on the podcast, you need to come over to YouTube and uh, and watch what Kelly just did then, because I think that's a perfect um, symbol of how this new moon is going to be. It's just a let's just get through it, right? Sort of. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thank you so much, Kelly. Um, and we'll see you again for the next um, moon nation that we're going to be talking about, which is the full moon in Taurus. It's actually a blue moon because it's the second full moon in the calendar month. And it's also Halloween. So I don't know if that's got any astrological significance, but we'll find out next time. Thanks, Rose. Thanks, Kelly. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more readings and forecasts every single week. Head to the description now for your free numerology reading and to view our latest blogs.